It is one of the newest ways to get around downtown. Columbus's new bike sharing project is marking three months now since rolling into the capital city. Officials just received a first look at the data on how the COGO program is going. 10TV's Jessica Goddard hit the streets and the sidewalks to get a closer look. Paul Suter's car is left in park a lot these days, opting instead to use the COGO bike share system to get to and from work. It's great. It's perfect. It, it provides an alternative way uh, to get from A to B um, rather than driving. And I kind of I hate taking my car everywhere. So Suter is among the 550 Central Ohioans who've already purchased annual subscriptions to the service. So, you know, during the day, getting to, you know, lunch meetings, errands, things like that. But we've also seen a lot of people come in from the suburbs using this kind of as a way to, you know, be a tourist in your own town. Erica Fiola and her husband are visiting from Cincinnati. They say the convenience of the system gives them a view of Columbus they wouldn't otherwise have. It's always been a really good way to just to see the city and get around, especially since we're not from here. Um, it's a good way to see different neighborhoods without having to take the car and worry about parking. While the numbers here lag similar programs in some of the country's largest cities, COGO and city officials say it's meeting expectations at this point. According to COGO's first quarterly report, Columbus's 229 bikes are used an average of 1.6 times per day, which have racked up more than $90,000 in revenue to date. The city is paying operating expenses for the first year. Any future profit on the system will be split between the bike company and the city. The data so far shows COGO is used mostly on weekends and for recreation. So up to this point, we're about 58,000 miles have been ridden, so that's about 500 times to Cincinnati. And rolling to a good start in Columbus. Jessica Goddard, 10TV News.